All right, here's what's going on in the world of hip hop. If you're a fan of Future, you'll be happy to know that he has a brand new album called Wizard that is coming out on the 18th of January. All right, so a little all year from the crowd. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> and also, he has a documentary drop in on Apple Music on the 11th, which is two days from now, which is Friday, which gets you ready for the project. And I guess it chronicles his life and his uh, musical rise to fame up to this point, getting you ready for the next entree he's going to deliver to the people. So be on the lookout for that. It's called Wizard. Drop it next week. The documentary comes out on Friday. Also, moving on another hip-hop news, uh, City Girls. Super duper huge. They're totally a big thing. If you ain't up on City Girls, do yourself a favor, pull up on that. It's definitely uh, it's definitely fun to listen to. But anyway, uh, one of the people that they sample is Kaya, and Kaya is kind of big mad about it. Take a listen. P, you know I'm mad at you because you let them old dirty ass City Girls sample my sh- and you didn't pay me. Why you Dang. act like you got so much motherfucking money, you ugly fat neck, and you got them oh. two pregnant, two friends supposed to be pregnant from your ugly ass at the same time. You know if you ain't had no money, you wouldn't be with your ugly, fat face ass. Oh. But if you was a real, you would have called the queen to write for them young, dirty, ugly city girls. Yeah. Wow. So instead of like, you know, clapping back the same way she clapped at them, uh, he took to social media and posted a document that showed that he did pay some people. He paid $10,000 to get the master cleared. He paid another $10,000 for the publishing and $6,000 to a company called Third Side, you know, totaling $26,000. So people got paid. It just wasn't Kaya. You got to look at your inner circle, ma. Come on. Can't be strong right. and wrong at the same time. Uh, moving on. Let's talk about Chris Rock. Will he host the Oscars if Kevin Hart says no? Chris Rock is like, hell nah, man. He's like, if it was five oh, years ago. Oh, he turned it down? He turned it down. He said, if it was five years ago, I could say something really offensive and funny right now, but I can't do that no more. So, hey, you know, he also said, hey, Steve Martin's here. You should host the Oscars. You're the best. Steve Martin's <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're right. Like, you know, when you're a comedian like a Chris Rock, when you when you say controversial things like a Dave Chappelle, it, it is not the time to be that woke because people don't allow it. You know, like, I mean, like, I mean, do you find it harder to do your job out there because, like, everybody's so sensitive? Rick? Huh? Uh, well, uh, yeah, you have to watch what you say. I, I mean, you can't say nothing. You have to be everything uh, uh, politically uh, correct and just, man, you, you just, I just try to stay out of the line of fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, and it's so hard because things that were appropriate and cool for you to say a couple years ago, you cannot say these things you anymore. Can't. And everybody, everybody's protected. They was trying to get at Brian Cranston because he's not real life paraplegic. And he plays one in his upcoming movie with Kevin Hart. Are you serious? This man is an actor. They're like, there's tons of quadruple. Well, that's, well, well, one of the problems is everybody have a platform to complain about what they want to complain about. Back in the day, if you didn't like something, you just didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah, and I don't even know how these quadriplegics are writing in. You know? <sighs> they finna come for you, bro. Slowly. Anyway, that's they it for me. For this, <laughs> for this and other stories, I'll follow uh, nope. Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud. <laughs> H-E-A-D-K-R-A-C-K. Not Rock. a towel. <laughs> Nope. Right when you. Not damn dollar. What, man? You slay on them, bro. You slay on that one, man, bro. They gonna get you. They gonna get you, man. All of them. I don't man. know how they gonna do it. Yeah, they gonna do it. I'm they gonna, gonna find them. I'm just gonna go up a flight of stairs. Just wait. <laughs> See there? Oh, now you did it again. I gotta go. <laughs> Praise break, huh? Praise break. Yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever. We need it. <laughs> It's the Ricky Smiling Morning Show. Yeah, man. Praise the Lord. <laughs>